हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो एज यू नो प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग इज एन इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ एनी कॉन्सेप्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग विद आवर सीरीज ऑन प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग इन्वॉल्विंग सर्ज सो द क्वेश्चन हियर से इज रैशनलाइज द डिनोमिनेटर सो माइंड द वर्ड इट्स रैशनलाइज द डिनोमिनेटर राइट यू कैन रैशनलाइज द न्यूमिनेटर टू बट रैशनलाइजिंग द डिनोमिनेटर हेल्प इन सिंप्लीफाइंग मेनी सर्ज हेंस वी आर सेंग रैशनलाइज द डिनोमिनेटर एंड द expression here is under root 1 plus x square minus under root 1 minus x square divided by under root 1 plus x square plus under root 1 minus x squared you know how to rationalize a surd and especially if it is a compound surd so if you see this is a compound surd mix of two surds isn't it so what do you do you multiply it with it, it with its conjugate so let's do that so hence it is 1 plus x squared Minus under root one minus x squared. We'll take the denominator and multiply it with its conjugate. So this was the original denominator, and now I am multiplying this with one plus x squared minus again one minus x squared, and this whole again is one plus x squared under root minus. Under root one minus x squared. So you have to, if you are changing the denominator, you have to compensate the change by multiplying the numerator as well. So that's why I I multiply and divide the given expression by the same third, and that third is nothing but conjugate of the denominator. Now you could have also done the same thing by multiplying with this conjugate. So one minus x square minus one plus x square. So you could have done this as well. That means you could have changed the sign of this one. And found the conjugate and multiply it. Answer would not be impacted. Now let us go ahead and complete the multiplication process. So what is it? Let us multiply this with this first. So this is the multiplication. So let me draw with a different color so that you know you don't get confused. So this is first multiplication is this, right? So what do I get? I get Root of one plus x squared into root of one plus x squared, right? Then what do I need to do? I need to multiply these two, which is nothing but under root one plus x squared times. Ah, uh, actually, this will be a minus sign here because I am multiplying a negative factor. So one plus x squared times under root one minus x squared. Then what? Then minus under root one minus x squared times one plus x squared. What am I doing? I am multiplying these two now. And then finally, what do you get? You get minus minus plus under root one minus x squared times under root one minus x squared. This is the numerator and the denominator. You know this is a plus b a minus b form. So hence you can write one plus x squared squared minus under root one minus x squared squared, right? Look closely. This is a. This is b. This is again. This is a plus b. This is a minus b. So hence it will be a square minus b square. That's what I did. Now, what is? This? Let's uh, simplify. So if you see the first term on the numerator, it is nothing but. One plus x squared. The root will go, and the second term is nothing but under root one plus x squared times one minus x squared. Same thing here, minus under root. In fact, you don't need to do this. If you see, um, yeah, uh, actually this will become two twice of this. So hence minus same thing, but we just did one plus x squared, and then what? This is nothing but one minus x. Squared. When you square this term, you'll get one minus x squared, right? Divided by again one plus x squared, then minus one minus x squared, right? This is what you will get. Next, let's simplify. So if you see this x square, this x square will go, and hence what will be left? You'll be left with two minus this thing will become two times because. This item and this item are same, so two times this, and what is within? So you can write one minus x to the power four. Why? Because one plus x square times one minus x square. So a plus b, a minus b will be equal to 
a square minus b square hence it is 1 square minus x to the power 4 okay so i hope you understood this process and divide by what so 1 minus 1 will get cancelled you'll get 2x squared so if you can eliminate all the 2's you'll get 1 minus under root 1 minus x to the power 4 divided by x squared so hence if you see i have now got rid of any irrational component or factor in the denominator so the denominator has been rationalized this is what the question demanded and hence we have obtained the right result so this is what is called rationalizing the denominator using conjugate search 